Ngising Pedia. Hi everyone, how are you? We hope you all are well. See you again with our channel that adds to your knowledge. After we previously talked about the types of sea anemones, now we will convey the types of small polyps stony coral. Stony corals produce a skeleton of calcium carbonate, which then becomes the foundation in building blocks of the coral reefs. The small polyp stony or SPS corals can have complex elegant shapes and dazzling colors. SPS have much smaller polyps than the LPS. Here are 12 types of beautiful SPS you should know. 1. Acropora tenuis Acropora tenuis has evenly spaced branches and radial corallites that are long and tubular. These look like sideways C connected to the branch. Their corallites have flared or pointed lower lips, giving them a rosette pattern when viewed from above. 2. Acropora millipora Acropora millipora have short branches, the corallites surrounding the branches having a scale-like appearance. They have corallites with no upper wall, but a prominent lower wall and rounded or flared lips giving the letter C shape. The corallites at the tip of the branch are similar. 3. Acropora cervicornis Acropora cervicornis grows in a branch in formation where a branch lets Y off at right angles. Their bottom parts are usually dead. They have the densest base skeletons ever recorded in stony corals. Their round cylinder-shaped branches can reach from 3 feet up to 6 feet but only under ideal conditions. 4. Acropora formosa Acropora formosa has the densest base skeletons ever recorded in stony corals. They come in mostly cream, but also in brown, blue, pink, and green with pale tips. The most common color is cream to tan with colorful tips. These terminal polyps do not have zooxanthellae. They grow quickly because the terminal polyps are fed by the rest of the colony. 5. Acropora palmata Acropora palmata is an important reef-building coral in the Caribbean. The species has a complex structure with many branches which resemble that of elk antlers. The branching structure creates habitat and shelter for many other reef species. This coral is known to grow quickly with an average growth rate of 5 to 10 centimeters per year. 6. Montipora capricornis Montipora capricornis is a turbinate coral which is described as a vase-like growth with cone-shaped walls. Its encrusting growth form can be flat when young then turning to a walled cup shape as the size increases. A mature colony will have a spiraling vase shape. The colors can be purple, blue, brown or green and some have a contrasting edge color under stronger lighting. 7. Montipora digitata Montipora digitata is a plating species of SPS corals. It has an encrusting yet mostly branch formation that can be brown, green, and even purple and peach in captive raised varieties. They have a very fragile, lightweight skeleton, since one bump will supply you with multiple frags they will start encrusting, spread and start more branches once it feels comfortable. 8. Montipora undata Montipora undata's colonies have horizontal to vertical plates or tubes, and these columns and branches are generally thick. These wide variations in growth are more apparent in mature colonies. They can be purple, pink, pale green, or brown with pale margins and contrasting polyps. 9. Pavona decasata 
Pavona decasata have various shapes that can at times be affected by water flow and light. They can often be confused with each other in the wild. The leafy pavona are also similar in appearance to the Leptosaurus genus but are distinguished from them by having corallites on both sides. 10. Echinophilia spara Echinophilia spara or chalice coral colors are pretty much any combination, especially the aquacultured varieties. The oral discs are usually a different in solid color from the color fully mottled fleshy body. They are encrusting and have knobby centers. They form whorls or circular formations along with tears or tall bump-like protrusions. 11. Seriotopora hystrix the Ceriotopora hystrix are arborescent, they grow in a branch formation from a slender base. In the wild, they will grow in the general direction of the water flow with stronger water movement forming thicker branches. They intertwine into a twisted nest. With the branches fusing together as they touch in certain areas, the branches are all pointed and needle-like or blunt. 12. Parides cylindrica The Parides cylindrica have multiple growth forms that include flat colonies that are encrusting flat leaf-like sheets, massive colonies that are dome-shaped when large, and branching colonies. Colonies can grow quite large in size and some species can have several of the growth characteristics in one colony. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video please subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for our next videos.